Asia's richest man is throwing his youngest son a lavish wedding in Mumbai today. Its estimated price tag, hundreds of millions of dollars. Topping the guest list for the long-anticipated event, a list of celebrities. We're talking Kim Kardashian, David Beckham, even Hillary Clinton. Now, I really didn't want to make this video because it's going to come off as me showing off. And for the people who've been around the channel, you know that I dislike the people who show off and I never show off myself. All these people I've been seeing on Instagram, Kim Kardashian, all these other celebrities just showing up, popping a Instagram photo and post, posting their whole outfits, thinking they're a big deal because they got invited to this exclusive invitation wedding that no one, all you peasants, all you normal people cannot get access to this. This is only for VIP people. And I thought I'll come out and actually share my relationship with the son, this kid, the guy who's getting married, Anand. Share my side of the story because me and Anand, we go way back. But I never robbed it or shared this information with anyone. This is just me coming out, telling these guys they're not a big deal with posting these stories. I personally got a personal invitation from Anand himself. We're going to go through the email later on in the video. But to speed you up to things, what is happening, Mr. Mukesh and Amambi... He is the richest man in Asia with a net worth of $123 billion. And for the past couple of, I'm sure, months, you cannot escape them just popping up on your FYP all over social, social media, calling you broke in 500 languages. Everyone been seeing their videos all around and people were shocked of the celebrities and the billionaires and every famous person on this planet just showing up, popping up out of nowhere, having an engagement party of like 500 days. And then to like this wedding is going to be like 20, 30, 40, 50 days as well. Their engagement party was back in March when Rihanna showed up for $7 million and performed. And that's when the whole thing went viral. And their wedding, their, sorry, their engagement was estimated around $200 million. I got invited to that too, but I forgot to respond to the email. I never got back to it. It was too late the, the time that I found out about the invitation and after that for a good two months they went for a pre-wedding situation where they bought a whole big ass cruising ship to go all around and they had a couple of small names performing throughout the whole way as well like Katy Perry the Backstreet Boys the list goes on with the other singers many many others showed up around thousands of people were in that 500, 5,000 foot, I don't know what, uh, cruise ship. It was a fun two months for everyone. It was a pure luxury pre-wedding game just to prepare yourself. That estimated around $300 million as well. And now just yesterday, they announced the whole weekend of wedding that is going to be on a three-day streak going on. And the wedding is going to be estimated at around $600 million. I knew about this because two weeks before this wedding that started yesterday i got an invitation from my boy and not and this is what the email said now for obvious reasons i'm going to blur out the name and the picture there's nothing to prove here it's just a matter of privacy i am not going to sniper wolf my friend he sent me a message saying cushy it's your boy anand he's he's like that he's always full of energy and yes we are on first name basis why because how do we meet kush you're lying I'm not lying. Oh, I have proof. This is a picture of me and my boy Anand back in 2021, the first time we met. And the story of how we met is actually pretty funny. As most of you know, I have 4.8 million followers on TikTok. Uh, that's what I started the whole thing back in 2020. One day I was in a live stream telling everyone to send lions, send galaxies. And out of nowhere, Mr. Anand came and said, I really love your videos. Keep doing what you're doing. And he donated $50 million to me. I was shocked, obviously, we went private, we spoke, I, I thanked him so much for his support. And that was the beginning of a very beautiful private relationship where I try to keep my private life. I, I try not to share everything, that's why you're just finding out, finding out about this right now. After the invitation, it's finally happening, bro. I'm marrying the girl of my dreams. I think this one actually wants me for me and not for my money. So to speed you up to things, his dad is obviously the richest man in Asia and for him having access to all this money as well because it's too much for everyone. So they share it between the family, obviously. A lot of people take advantage of him, surprisingly. He's a very decent, simple, nice guy. He has, he wears a couple of millions of dollars on his wrist sometimes. But he, overall, he's a very nice guy that people take advantage of. When it comes to girls, especially, they all pretend like they like him and then they just steal all his money or people are with him for his lifestyle finally with this girl that he's about to marry i actually met her she's also a very nice girl as well they look very happy together and 
the good thing is she's already rich not as rich as them but she also has a couple of million millions to her name he goes on and he says i know you're a very busy man making top-notch videos for your 4.3k legends on your channel he's talking about you guys by the way he also sent me a message the day my logan paul video went viral and he congratulated me for 200k on a video very 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 extremely nice guy he says since you're very busy let me buy your time because the 20 day wedding won't hit the same without you Jesus, man he always he always he's always the real one like this i want you there just come for a day if you can i'll wire you 100 million dollars i know that's not a lot comparing to the last transactions but it would truly mean a lot for me if you come you were always there for me and i love you dot 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 like a brother of course not gonna lie we make sus jokes with each other every once in a while but i never suspected him of liking me that way he's obviously talking to me like a brother and 100 million dollars honestly it's not much for me i was a little bit offended that he only offered me that much for my time because my time is worth whole hell a lot more than that but at the same time i like him for him that's how what our friendship is on and we just care about each other so much it's, it was never about the money i kind of got a little bit offended as well the fact that he offered me money in the first place he says you're my only true friend ever everyone is here for my money and i know it i paid this donkey justin justin he meant justin bieber he paid justin bieber 10 million dollars and he showed up looking like homeless yeah i've seen the justin bieber videos it's a little bit disrespectful to your culture but at the same time it's him you know like just let him be him it's a european thing they don't understand culture or these things and i paid john cena one million dollars as well to make my wedding look cool but this donkey never showed up by the way i thought of the word donkey and he's just taking full advantage of it i'll be waiting for your response also i've heard john cena was there as well there's videos of him oh my god i spotted john cena but there's nothing you can really see in the video now i'm going to share my response to him as well hey bro congratulations i'm so happy for you Unfortunately, I can't leave my community for 20 days and disappear. They expect me whenever they heat up their food. But thank you for reaching out. I miss you, bro. Send me all the pictures and videos. Congratulations again, bro. And don't lie. Did you shakalaka boom boom rihana? I know you did, you donkey. Even though that I know him personally, he's a very nice, simple, like very flowery guy he's also a very freak he cannot keep his ding dong from going anywhere every hole is a goal according to him i remember going to this party last year and bro shakalaka boom boomed around 300 people just that night i was like bro how but again it was the billionaires party rich people truly do it differently i always said that i'm not a fan of this rich party people but i went out of respect for him because he literally sent me a private jet just to fly to india and he paid me around 200 million dollars to hang out with them but overall he's a very nice guy i truly care about him and congratulations again to him and his marriage and i hope he's happily ever after i just hope he keeps his ding dong to himself and he doesn't cheat honestly if he cheats I don't think she's gonna leave him because you know she loves him too much and i thought i'll make this video saying it is not a big deal to go to this ambani party you're not missing out on much all these people posting showing off yes normal people like me are also invited to these parties there's no point of showing off like what what do you want me to do clap for you because you were at the embani party and in the last year's party a lot of rich celebrities people that were there as well and i gotta tell you they're really their ego is too high they think they're still the shit like none of them are humble there the only humble person there was me and my boy anand anyways i just thought i'll share this pr small private thing with you i don't really share private things from my life but this is just one of them maybe i'll share in the future as well or in the live streams i actually talk a little bit more about my private life if you enjoyed the video give it a like if you enjoy these uh, daily yapping sessions make sure to drop a sub take care of yourself i'll see you at the next one